Hi, it's great to see you today. Um, it's Friday, it's the 21st of August. It's looking like quite a nice day outside, maybe a little bit of wind and a bit of rain overnight. And um, that's your weather report for today, by the way. And I um, hope it's going to be a nice day and a, a good weekend. And I trust you have a blessed day, blessed weekend. Here we are today, we're, uh, we're in Ephesians chapter 1, coming, coming near the end of chapter 1. And um, this bit, which uh, is my, my, in my Bible, it's got a section of it, it says Paul's prayer for spiritual wisdom uh, from verse 15 through to 23. It is so rich. I mean, I'm not saying the Bible's not rich because the Bible is an amazing book. It's God's word to us. It's alive and it's active and it's sharper than a two-edged sword. And it's... and, and and it speaks to us and, and you know you can read i was reading something just the other day and i was looking at it and thinking like, i have never ever seen that before and of course i have because i've read it loads of times but how it comes alive and it's made alive to you and that's what it should do and uh, you know if you and if you a little tip if you're kind of reading the word of god and you think well that doesn't really happen to me well, why don't you just pray just just briefly just before you open god's word and say lord speak to me today through your word make your word alive to me. Speak to me. What do you want to show me today through your word? And you know, God will. If your heart is open and you've, and you've got the Spirit of God in you, 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 you know, you're born again believer, God will speak to you. And even if you're not, God will speak to you through Scripture because He'll hear your prayers. And God always hears our prayers. Uh, so, yes, um, verse 20 yesterday was uh, verse 21. He is far above any other ruler. Uh, which I absolutely love. Verse 22 today says this, God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him the head over all things for the benefit of the church. So God has put, has put all things under the authority of Christ. And this is something we know. It's actually that, that, that Jesus is the head. Jesus is is the head of church we, you know we talk about it in corinthians that, that we are the body but that jesus jesus is the head jesus is the one who we look to if we look to man if we try to put man on a pedestal do you know all that happens is that the man we, we fall we, we man man falls we fail because why because we're not we're not um we're not made perfect yet yes we are being made didn't been changed from one degree of glory to another. But when we put somebody on a pedestal, when we think that, oh, well, they are, we've set them up, you know, we set them up to fail. No, we as humans, even as, and as leaders, um, we are just, we, Christ is the head. And we look to Jesus above all things. We look to Jesus and we, and we pray to Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Jesus is sat at the right hand of the Father and all authority has been given to him. And so this is why we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus because all authority has been given to him. But the great thing is, is this one again, one of my favorite verses in Matthew 28. It tells us Jesus just literally just before he was going back to heaven, as he was ascending up to heaven. He says to his disciples and to those who were, who were with him, he says, he said, look, all authority has been given to me. And this is what Paul is saying here. All authority has been given to me and I give this to you. So the authority that, Je although Jesus, of course, is the head, he is still the head and we remain under the head. We, we submit to him. We kind of, we are, and submission, you know, these days submission, it's not a, it's not a great word you hear a lot about because people say like, I'm not going to just do that. I'm not going to submit to this. I'm not going to do that because I'm, the no, Jesus Christ is the head. He is perfect. He is wonderful. He is our Lord. He is our God. He is our King. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we need to submit to him. And also we need we do need to, to come under, uh, to, if you like, submit to, to godly leadership. And it's not the fact that, that people, you know, it's about people telling us what to do. That is not the issue. It's about, it's about responsibility. It's about covering. It's about that, uh, you know, authority has been given to us. Authority has been given to each and every one of us. We are all leaders in our own way. We're leaders. If you are, if you are a Christian in your family, you and you've got children you are leading the children you have response spiritual responsibility you have provide that covering for your children so that when they make that decision to, to either to follow christ for themselves they can make that and then they become their own when they have their own family so we all have in different spheres whether it be in work whether it be in in our home whether it be in church we have that um we have that authority that god has given us and each of us has 
a different level of authority and and that's and that's fact that's that is it in life and it's not that one is better than the other that is not that, that is absolutely not true we just have different roles but the main thing to remember is this that christ all authority has been given to jesus christ and it's been given to him by the father and this is what he said in matthew 28 and then he said i've given you this authority to go out into the world making disciples not just making converts, making disciples, making followers of Jesus, people who are gonna gonna love him, who, who and then then themselves are gonna go and make uh, dis, make more disciples. That is the model that God has given for us to do, and He has given us that authority to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, to speak words of life, to speak like the, the words of the Spirit, Rhema words of the Spirit through God's word and through prophetic words. So all authority has been given to Christ and um, he is the head over all things. And so we look to him. We look to Jesus in everything. You know, at the moment I'm leading the church in more than at War's End, and myself and Karen and, and um, Andy on our leadership team and, and John who, Michael who advising us. And I just thank God for having godly people around us. But we have that responsibility at the moment, but we come under the submission of Jesus Christ. He is our, he is the one we look to. And, um, and we just need more, we just need more of God. We need more of the Holy Spirit to come because the, Jesus, has, he said, I must go. So the Holy Spirit would come, the Comforter would come and, it, and it, you know, so that we could just see amazing things happen. So that we could be raised up to be the church of God, that we could be, fulfill the plans and purposes of God under his authority. When we get out, when we come out from under God's authority, under the authority of Christ and under the authority of the church and under those, that's when we can get ourselves into a bit of a mess. But listen, I trust you have a great day today. Take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow on Saturday. And uh, look, have a great day. Amen.